Hallelujah. Yeshua is of a Kabulan origin, which today is commonly referred to as Africa. Yeshua was a well melanated man. It was easy for him to disguise among his cousins in Egypt. When the most powerful ruler in the world at that time, Herod, was after his life when he was born. So the angel of the Most High instructed Yeshua's parents to take him and hide among the Egyptians who were predominantly melanated at that time too. His hair was woolly, his skin was bronze-like, brown, and eyes were as burning fire. There was nothing to admire on him because the strangers or heathen who set the standard of beauty in the world never looked like him. He was a Nazarite like Samson, who had dreadlocks and dark skin, which was typical of the Nazarites. The Greek woman was a heathen or a Gentile, non-melanated woman of European descent. Greece was, of course, built to be a replica of Egypt's most ancient civilization on earth, claimed as the cradle of civilization by the Gentile nations, even though it is well known that Socrates, Herodotus, and all the renowned Greek philosophers were educated by the Egyptians. As their manner is, the Gentiles of European origin renamed it Egypt because of their agenda to always control the narrative and conceal the truth. So in Mark chapter 7 from verse 25 to 29, For a certain woman whose young daughter had, a, had an unclean spirit heard of Yeshua and came and fell at his feet, of course, it has been that way for some time now. Whenever the Gentile nations need to build their interest, then they fake friendship and recognize the usefulness of Yah's people. We saw that in slavery, colonization, and even now immigration. It happens till date. Verse 26. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by nation, and she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. Clearly, she did not look like an Archibald, but she came to an Archibald when they needed help. As always, to tap our power and knowledge of medicine. Verse 27 But Yeshua said unto her, let the children first be filled, for it is not appropriate to take the children's bread and cast it onto the dogs. Now we know who the real dogs are, the Gentile nations, and we know who the original children of Yah are, the Archibalans. Revelation 22 verse 15 says, Outside are the dogs those who practice falsehood, immorality, idolatry, and sorcery, these are described as those outside the walls of the land of Yah's people. Yeshua says it's, says it's not appropriate to take the benefits of healing that belong to the children of Yah and give it to those who are not the chosen people, talking about the heathen and Gentiles who form part of the region outside the territory of the land of Yah's people, a cable line. Go get yours or figure things out for yourselves. So Yehoshua implied also to this woman 
this Gentile woman, that my message and ministry is not for you or your people, but for the lost sheep of the house of Yah, the house of the Most High, who have been lost into the life and ways of Babylon, whether by choice or by force. So even if you should partake of this healing bread or ministry of mine, first let the chosen people of Yah be satisfied, and whatever is left could probably be given to you, but you are not meant to partake of it because before the true people do. No matter what, and that should stand because it is the word of the Most High. So let the chosen people of Akebo land, Africa, origin, be fully satisfied in discovering and exercising the knowledge and understanding of who they truly are. And even so, no one can correctly tell or define or determine what our satisfaction level is. Only Yah can determine that in his own time. But we must be continuously prioritized in the gospel of Yeshua and rest the foundation, set the foundation straight. Verse 28. And she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord, yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. So the Gentile Greek woman realizes her position and she pleaded to partake of the crumbs instead. Dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table and not the real bread itself. Today what we see is the table turned around. We are the true people of the Most High and now the ones pleading for the crumbs. While the Gentile nations feast on the real bread. You cannot even trust the heathen with crumbs because they will subtly, cunningly take the whole bread. Verse 29 And Yeshua said unto her, For this saying, go thy way, the devil is gone out of your daughter. You know, our Yeshua is a kind and good Messiah, just the way we Africans naturally are. Yeshua gave the woman her wish because she acknowledges her true position and not trying to steal the story and position, which is the birthright of the real people of African descent, the original people of here. Hallelujah.